Evo 2024 proved to be one hell of a show this year. And I wanted to revisit something that I said I was gonna do last year, but I never did. <laughs> Oopsies. Last year, EVO shocked the world by announcing that they had over 7,000 players enter for Street Fighter VI's debut year. That's a lot of players for one game! To put this into perspective, that's more than the YouTube theater can handle, and a little over the third of the capacity of the arena formerly known as the Staples Center. Could you imagine someone from the away team going for free throws and all they see are Street Fighter players heckling the hell out of them? A 7,000 player tournament is already huge on its own! So of course, someone on Twitter joked that Evo should be round robin. And so, I took that tweet way too seriously. But, I'm gonna use this year's numbers because yeah, that makes sense! So, what if Street Fighter 6 at EVO 2024 was a round robin format? This year, Street Fighter 6 had 5,265 players competing for the EVO 2024 crown. To calculate how many matches a round robin goes, we multiply the number of entrants, times the number of entrants minus 1, and divide that by 2. That gets us a grand total of 13,857,480 matches to complete a 5,265 player round robin. It's a lot of players. Let's say the round robin stage is first of 2, and the average first of 2 takes 3 minutes to complete. This means that 13,857,480 matches multiplied by 3 minutes equals 41,572,440 minutes of turning match time, or 28,869 and 3 quarters days worth of match time. But that's also assuming that EVO will be running matches concurrently, non-stop, 24-7, overnight, with no sign of breaks. That's absolutely ridiculous! So let's make this a little bit more reasonable. So let's say EVO operates for 8 out of 24 hours a day, or a third of a day. If we divide the days of games by one third, then we get a total of 86,609 and a quarter realistic days, or just over 237 years. That's a lot of time to be in the middle of a desert! But fortunately, this hypothetical 237 year long EVO would only apply if they were running on one setup. That's still ridiculous! So let's make this even a little bit more reasonable. Let's say that Sony provided enough setups to make every match be playable at all at the same time. EVO would need 2,632 PS5s for the event. By the way, that would set the independent TO back $1,316,000 if they wanted disc edition PS5s. Digital editions would set them back $1,184,000. But either way, they would still need to pay another 157920 to get copies of Street Fighter VI for every console at the event. Or, or worse, if they were compelled to get collars and costumes too. Ugh. At that point, they might as well add one more console for the one person with a buy to practice on, because that's what happens in a round robin with odd number of players. Alright, so we have enough stations to get everyone playing all at once. So, if every wave in the round robin starts at the same time, then that would mean that every wave would run as long as the longest match in that wave. So, let's make the average length of a wave around 5 minutes, because it's very likely that at least one of those over 2600 matches would have an incredible 2-1 set that goes the distance. Or maybe someone's trying to practice the path of peace. You remember those days? Actually, let's make that 8 minutes to factor in the time to get players situated, do their button checks, make sure the controller works, and to account for bracket runners looking for that one guy who went to the restroom without letting them know. We all know that guy. So if we go by 8 minutes a wave, that means we can get about 7-ish waves done in about an hour. Times 8 hours a day, and that means that EVO can complete 60 waves in a single day. Now, realistically, that might wind up covering more or less, depending on how long the matches actually run on the months of the tournament. But let's just keep it at a nice round 60, because round is nice. So, at 60 waves a day, it would take EVO 88 whole days to cover all 5,264 waves of this round robin. This is also assuming that we don't run into any problems, like systems going down during the tournament, or players' controllers failing, or the internet going down, or someone making a scene when they get salty, or that Bob keeps complaining. So yeah, imagine that, EVO 2024 being three months long. Now, how much would that cost to a player though? Like hotel rooms! Players would need somewhere to stay while visiting Vegas for EVO. Like my friend, who paid $330 to stay at the Excalibur for his 4 day stay at EVO 2024. To keep things simple, we won't factor in holiday and weekend rates and use the average of $82.50 a night. 
So for my friend to stay at EVO 2024 Round Robin Edition, he will be paying something like $7,260 for his near 3 month long stay at Sin City. You know, if my friend was also a part of the FTC retirement home, then that would also mean that he'd be paying another $45 in subscription fees for Final Fantasy XIV. But wouldn't he need a decent internet connection to be able to play? Isn't that like $15 a day or something? Man, I sure hope he'll remember to unsub before attending because that'll be a sad waste of $45. Wait, does he have a house? He might lose his house if he doesn't log in! That would be the worst. Actually, you know what would be the worst? Can you imagine how much Evil would have to pay the Las Vegas Convention Center for internet for Evil 2024 Round Robin Edition? You guys remember when Jabali talked about how expensive internet would be if CEO was being held at the Orlando Convention Center? It's a lot. Evil streamed to seven different channels this year, so if we pull an average rate of $1,500 as cited by Fickle Platypus on Twitter's Nobody, and use Jabali's data as an example, then we get a total of $600,000 per day. But that'd only be a hot 1.8 million for three days, because only Street Fighter is being run as a round robin in our example. So let's just calculate internet for the main channel, since after three days, we'd only have Street Fighter 6 left to stream. Actually, wait. Imagine if they still used all seven channels just to stream purely Street Fighter for the entirety of the round robin? Hold on a second. I might be co- If they requested 100 megabytes of internet bandwidth for one channel, that would cost EVO $150,000 per day of the event. Multiplied by 88 days, and we get a total cost of $13,200,000 to run just EVO Channel 1. Or, in another timeline where EVO would let me cook, if we take the $600,000 daily rate mentioned before to power all 7 streams, and multiply that by 88 days, we get a loose idea of how much it would cost EVO to stream the entirety of EVO 2024 Round Robin Edition. I say loose idea because I don't know exactly what the rates are in the Vegas Convention Center. Fickle's price range didn't cite a particular venue or region. Does anybody know what the Vegas Convention Center charges? Please get down in the comments. And that's not even the whole cost either. We would need more bandwidth for other uses too. Bracket runners and tourney ops need to keep their brackets updated. Social media managers need to keep doing their job. And did you know some of those arcade games need to be online too? Imagine putting the effort to acquire or reserve some of those cabinets, and then they get delivered to the venue, and then you set them up, and then you find out that they won't boot up or lose a lot of their functionality because they can't get online. Internet is only a small slice of the total cost of what it would take to run EVO at a round robin scale. You got bracket runners to pay, you got production staff to feed, and you got other venue costs to consider as well. Like, you know, actually renting the venue? In short, Organizing a tournament is a lot of work, and factors like all the absurdity I talked about here today have to be considered when planning the event. Decisions have to be made. Sometimes they're easy to make, like, you know, not making EVO a round-robin format. And some are a lot more difficult. Like, holy smokes, how does Frosty Faustings have that many games in two days? bullshit Hey guys, if you're still here at the end of the video, I really appreciate it. Thank you for sticking around. I know I haven't done a video in longer than I'd like to admit. Sorry about that, y'all. Um, I can't really promise when I'll be back to making videos, but I, I, I do have a lot in, like, in the drawer that I really want to do. Maybe I'll hopefully get around to doing some of those someday. But yeah, in the meantime, I do stream irregularly from time to time right now. Um, right now, I'm stuck on the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV. You might have heard of it. Uh, Dawn Trail's out. The new raid is great. The music's jamming. Hmm. Maybe I could do something like that. I know, I don't want to make any promises yet. But yeah, um, thank you guys for sticking around. Love y'all. Um, hopefully, I'll get to see you on the stream sometime. Take care. Don't forget to love each other and stay excellent. And my tracking died. Cool.